Hello everyone, and welcome back to Falcon Age, where we are here with our beautiful little Hava, aka Vonsuki, and getting ready to go deeper into the desert in order to face the wolves, the sand wolves that are there, and work on completing a quest for a very um, dubious shopsman who is trying to sell Hava, actually. I'm not sure what I think about that. He definitely is somebody we need to keep an eye on, Hava. But you know what? If we're going to roam deeper into the desert and deal with the sand wolves, I think it's time to take off the little baby bird hat. Even though I love keep- Oh, Hava. Even though I love keeping it on her. But look at her, you guys. Oh, do you want to give us a- Oh, listen to that. And her screech. Yeah, Hava, if we're about to start fighting with sand wolves, I want her to be at full adult level. And in fact, we might even go ahead and put some of her leather armor on. Come on down, beautiful. Come here, Fansuki. Oh, she's so beautiful. You look like a phoenix, my dear. Alright, let's see. And we have our new recipes, the super silent roll. We've also got the super crush patty, so that we could actually have some charisma, which I think is hilarious. <laughs> and the stealth, that'll definitely help when we need to continue to take on some of the robots, so... Alright, let's see what we can do for her. Let's see. Vansuki starter leather. Alright. There you go, my dear. If that can help protect you from the sand wolves, then it's totally worth it. But alright, so... How many of those sand wolves? Bring a sand wolf armor plate to Ahsoka, bring rabbit meat to the rabbit trainer in town, and give the tool bag to the old climber. Well, we actually managed to get ourselves, if I can find everything just right, but we did actually manage to get the climber, the old climber's tools. There they are. Yeah, the old climber's tool bags we've already managed to get, and we have some fox meat. But no rabbit meat at the moment, so we might need to go get some rabbit meat at some point. Maybe we'll stumble on some. I think they show up on the map, actually. Yeah, there's Hava. Yeah, I don't see anything just yet, so all right, let's put this away. And uh, time to venture deeper into the desert, my friends, and see what is there waiting for us. What about you? What are you doing? Do you have a death wish? Oh dear, maybe the desert is going to be kind of intense. If you don't know what's down there, you can get yourself killed. What's going on? There are creatures in that valley that would eat you alive. Ooh, definitely time for Hava to be in her adult form then. What creatures? I call them sand wolves. You ever see an ant lion? They're a little like that. They hide in the sand until their quarry comes into reach, and then, pow! Why do you know about them? I'm a student of the cosmos, someone looking to make sense of its creatures. A fellow biologist! It's excellent to meet you, sir. Not going to lie, that's an interesting hobby. Gosh, has civilization really slipped so far we don't have biologists for the native creatures anymore? Oh, that's tragic. I guess you could call it that. But I see it as part of the reclamation process. Ah, see? That's what we were talking about before. These creatures are part of the environment, and it's important to know how they integrate with the ecosystem. He... He is definitely a man after my own heart. Even if they're trying to eat you? They're not doing it out of malice, are they? Despising something because we're frightened of them, because we don't know how to coexist with them, is how you get the Outer Ring Company. Why are you studying them? Because they're remarkable. These sand wolves are so perfectly adapted to their environment. They're almost without flaw. Ooh, they sound like the sharks of the sands. Almost? Their bone plating is susceptible to electric. If you hit them, it should cause the armor to slough off. There are three separate pieces of armor on most of them. Oh boy. Hitting them again after all their armor uh, fell off will stun them in place. After that, your bird can come in to finish the job. Well, you know, you were just saying how you admired them, but I guess it is kind of a cycle of life. But I guess we're part of the ecosystem here too. I like the sound of fatal flaws. Here's something for you. Uh, let's see. And any other tips? Their meat is incredibly useful to craftsmen, so don't forget to collect what you can. Remember, three blows to remove the armor pieces, another blow to stun them, and then send your bird in. Good luck out there. Whew. We got a special item for that, and- <gasps> Is that a sand wolf plushie? Oh 
My good grief. Hava! Hava! Come here, dear. I know you're no longer in your baby form, at least for the moment, but what do you think about this? <gasps> oh, do it again. Oh my gosh. Oh, she made such a cute little sound. Okay, that's amazing. All right, jump on up for a minute. And then I'm gonna get ready with my whip. And let's see what we can manage with these sand wolves. Also, I learned how to run, which is such a relief. All right, so what are we gonna find here? Bring a sand wolf plate armor. <gasps> Yikes! Holy cow! Okay, 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 okay. Here he comes. All right, I see you, buddy. Okay, so he's right over here, 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 here. That's a sand wolf. Did I get his armor? All right, come on, buddy. Here he comes again. All right, so that's three pieces of armor. All right, well, you definitely, as long as I don't attract more of them. Wolves traditionally hunt in groups. Oh, I missed him. Okay, I think I'm gonna need to... Oh jeez, I thought I heard a second one behind me. Oh, his tail! Okay, a Vansuki! Oh jeez! <gasps> she just like went in! Look at her! Look at her! She went in for that kill! She's got some food now! Oh my gosh, Vansuki! Look at her! Look at this thing! When they were saying sand wolf, I didn't, I didn't think something that looked like this, basically. This is somewhat mildly terrifying, but also amazing at the same time. Vansuki, good job. I can't believe you did that. Wow, okay. So what did we get? We got the wolf meat, cook it for a defense boost. And did we get the armor too? I think I picked up the armor. Let's see. I hope so, because, oh, there it is, there it is. The sand wolf bone trade for scrap. Okay. Wow. So that's what fighting these guys is like. How many are here? Bansuki, are you okay? Let's see. How far does this go? So it looks like if we carry on, we'll end up in the minefield and then eventually to the refinery area. Refinery Uda. So we took out Refinery Aaliyah. That was a good thing we did. So there's minefields. I wonder if that means if we go any further, we could actually end up in a lot of trouble. You good, Vansuki? Oh, she's so good at that. All right. Well, I know we can fight them now. Yeah, buddy. While we're here, dueling with sand wolves in the desert. Come on. Ah. Oh jeez, the way they growl, I thought we had another another one coming for us. All right. Oh, she got him. Look at her. I, I really, wow, I'm so glad we made her an adult because we needed that. Oh my gosh, yeah. All right, fighting these sand wolves is not as hard as I thought it would be. So now we have two scraps of bone, good. And we wanna give all of the food that we can. All right, Vansuki, are you doing good? Yeah, I don't think she's been harmed at all by this. All right, so if I carry on Any more of them? Two might be enough, and then we can run back to town with our, our bounty. Because I don't want to destroy them. Too many of them. You know what I mean? They're just trying to do their own thing here. Yeah, it looks like we took out the two. Gosh, that's pretty intense. But alright, let's head back. Alright, come on, Bansuki. I think we did good. Wow. I didn't expect that, you know? All right, I wonder how long it took for so many of our buildings to fall into disarray. Does he have anything to say now that we made it back alive? 
How can I help? Just wanted to see how you're doing. I should get going. Later. Okay, so he's still studying the sand wolves. Look at beautiful Vansuki's shadow overhead. Oh, that's awesome. All right, well now I feel confident that we can try to get back. Let's go around this way. Back to town without too many incidents. And I guess we have a lot of food, so it's not like we need to sit there and attack the sand wolves. And even though they're really terrifying and look nothing, oh, and I gotta remember, we've got some buried treasure to try to dig up. Even though they look like absolutely nothing I thought they would, I'm glad we learned, oh, see? Down. These things are more annoying than a sand wolf, aren't they? All right, can I get, I need to work on training up Hava again. Can you get it, Hava? Oh, look at her. Look at her go. But you know what? I feel, I feel a lot more sympathy to the sand wolves than I do the robots. They're just trying to survive and they're limited by biology. And I feel like the robots, like, sure, you could argue that they're just trying to survive in their own way too. But they could probably alter their, like, what they need. They could alter their programming. They could change what their UI says. Ah, good job, girl. We do need to get some rabbit meat for that one vendor at some point. Alright, let's put that away. Good job, Hava. And then let's come over here and... There we go. Get a little bit of water. Rest up. Is this more treasure in the dirt that I can't get? No, it's just a rock or a, a stick. All right, and let's take this sand wolf armor back to Ahsoka, who apparently doesn't want to do the dangerous stuff himself. Oh, and we can check in on our little farm. Oh, look at how beautiful the sand is here, actually. Wow. There may not be a lot of greenery around, but I feel like this is definitely a place well, I'm growing greenery over here. But I feel like this is definitely a place where you could really... There we go. And then we'll gather from this one. Make poetry out of the sands, the soil, the colors of the rock. And that's happened pretty traditionally all over the world. Even though there may not be a lot to see in places like this, at least at first. Humans have always found a way to be able to at least strike at the poetry of even the most bare places. Like the Antarctic, that would definitely be another spot completely different to this that I imagine people could really evoke a sense of poetry about. And you know what, before we go to Ahsoka, let's come over to this, this old climber and give her back the tools that her husband gave her that she lost. Welcome back, and you have my bag, thank you. If you find any other hanging bags, feel free to keep those items. Thank you! Oh, she gave us a special item for bringing that! Is it another cute little thing that I can use? <gasps> Is it a little walkie-talkie? Hava! <laughs> Are you hanging out up there? Come on down, my dear. Alright, let's see what this does. <gasps> oh my gosh, a squawk over over. <laughs> That's, that's adorable, too. I love how many things we can collect for her. Alright. Ahsoka, how are you today? What's that? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, girl. Perfect. Here, take this. And this sonar back is payment. With this, your bird will be able to detect the landmines. Go past them to find the refinery Uda. Be careful, though. My friends say it's heavily guarded. Oh, hey! A sonar backpack! <gasps> what? Okay, wait. <gasps> wait, what? Oh my gosh, it's a little birdie. Which really probably wouldn't end well for the little birdie, but what is this? Ah, it's a little toy and she'll play with the little birdie. That's so cute. And then she can also detect landmines and buried items now with this sonar backpack. Hava, that's amazing. Oh my gosh, look at her. Oh, I love it. 
I love everything we can do with her. She's so beautiful. But all right, guys. Up you go, Hava. That takes care of a couple quests that we have here. I think that if our next objective is to actually go and shut down Refinery Uda, that's going to be a little bit challenging, and I want to make sure that we have plenty of food to take good care of Hava. And I think if we can improve her stealth by cooking up that new recipe, wherever it is hiding in here, there we go. The super stealth recipe bonus. Hmm. I wonder if we can make that yet. I don't think I've discovered that that fruit or vegetable or whatever it is just yet. But I want to do everything we can to try to help her. So if you guys could, do please leave a like to cheer on our beautiful Hava as she continues to grow into her adult form. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.